Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building today. Yes, indeed. We got Boosie and Tootie Raw. What's up, Bruce? I ain't see Tootie walk in. What's up? That got to be your son. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Same can, fade. You Same couldn't fade. deny that one if you tried, Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word, my brother? Oh, uh, man, I'm chilling, man. I got an album finna drop uh, Friday. Okay. It's called The Best Album of 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, another classic album, bro. Uh, you know, when I'm dropping a project, you know, I got to come see y'all, you know, basically. You, know, you, you rolling right, too, man. I, 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 it's good to see you with all the security, because we come from an era where people brag about not having the security, and you see these young boys out here now bragging about not having security, and I'm right. like, why not protect yourself if you worth it? Right. Protect the asset. Yeah. You know, you ain't no, ain't no bring no guns in New York. No, hell no. no. You going to jail, jail. Three Absolutely. years. <laughs> yeah, you going to jail, jail. Absolutely. Three years automatically. Yeah, so uh, we had to get security, bro. You know, we had, we had, to, we had to do it right, bro. How's everything with Boosie? Boosie came here with a big smile and just seemed so happy. Boosie always happy. I, I love it. Man, I, I had a good morning, man. I woke up. Uh, I talked to my moms, bro. I talked to my mom. Jack, dog. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I ate some a good ass bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I hope you washed your hands in between. <laughs> yeah, I hope you washed your hands. the blunt on the balcony, looking at the buildings in New York, all the beautiful buildings. I had a good ass morning, bro. Did Going you wash your hands before you smoked the blood and ate the bacon, egg, and cheese? I don't want to lie. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was Damn, six bullshit. in the morning. I mean, I woke up to New York and it was beautiful, and that was my morning. And I had a real good morning, bro. That's why I've been, I've been happy. I've been fucking with all the interns. And <laughs> yeah. I'm going party tonight in New York. Where you going? I don't know. Are you just going out though? I've been asking all the interns to point me in the right direction. I'm finna bring some flavor to New York tonight. You need to hit up Scarlips. Scarlips said uh, you one of the reasons you know she got a career right now. Who? Scarlips. You know Scarlips? Scarlips? Oh, the, yeah. the rapper Scarlips. from the Bronx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah you need yeah. to hit her up. See what's going on. I need. I, I want party tonight. I want. I want feel a vibe tonight. We'll tell you. We'll tell you what what, what clubs is rocking tonight. Yeah. Now, uh, Tootie Row, how long you been hearing uh hearing your daddy talk like this? None of my whole life. Yo, <laughs> 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 what's the wildest thing you done heard your pop say that made you say, "Damn." I heard him say a lot. I don't, I don't really matter. I don't really be caring for real. Yeah, he say everything for real. <laughs> <laughs> now we see, we see, we seen your daddy. Uh, you know, hard on on your on you and your siblings sometimes. What's what's the the the, the craziest thing daddy that made you did? Cause you messed up. He he breathe, he's breathing hard. That means it's, it's a couple of them. You got to think which one. Oh, that's a lot of them for real. I don't really be getting in trouble no more for real though. So that shit. I discipline my kid. Like I like two to come up getting his ass beat, bro. Like, like I whooped him, bro. Like oh, when I got expelled from school, when I got expelled from school. Oh, I didn't got one of them expelled beatings before. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I definitely got one of those before. I got one of them too. What grade? A grade. No, so what you got expelled for fighting? I got expelled in, expelled in ten. Yeah, my partners, we had, had a little gang fight and got expelled. Damn, and pop beat your ass when he came on. Yeah, fix you right up, straight you right out. Yeah, yeah got me right. But three, you knew, three you knew you later, was gonna get he was it. with me. <laughs> three years with he was with you. He was with me three years later because his mama couldn't do nothing with him. So you know, them boys, you gotta a daddy gotta be in a son life. Bro. Mm -hmm. uh, he gonna really go astray. So what did you think when he started getting into the music industry? I know the music industry that sometimes everybody seems to hate. Uh, I couldn't stop him, even if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stop him because you know he come up on the music his whole life, so. It's like, a, I guess it was a passion to him. Mm -hmm. But at first, I didn't want my sons and none of this music shit because of what I went through in the music. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the same time, you got to be a dad and, and follow your, help him follow their dreams, too. Do you guide his career and kind of manage him and be on top of him to make sure that, you know, he makes better decisions than you did? And I guide his life more than his career. Mm. Mm. Uh, he do all his music himself. He do all he, his creativity himself. I got his life. Why you ain't came home? I got his life. I ain't seen you in, you know what I'm saying? I got his life more than his career. Cause what did you want him to do if, if he didn't do music? What, what, what did you think your kids were going to do? Shit, I don't know. I don't know. What can I, looking at me, what can I expect? Yeah. But you can expect special, more. Especially coming up then when they, 
See, I had tutor when I was young, so mm -hmm. tutor was in the trenches with me, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, I was I was raised in the wrong, bro. You know how them young niggas raise, raise they churn? Yeah, you, you, you didn't know no better. You yeah. know, like, I yeah. was fucked up, bro. And, mm -hmm. you know, his mama was young, so he had to be with pops and, you know, yeah. You know how it was. Yeah, absolutely. You know was. Absolutely. So a lot of that stuff when you started acting up in school, you couldn't be too hard on them because you yeah, like, damn, man. Yeah, my this... mama Tim, that yes. ain't nothing but you, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just, hey, hey, bro, you know and, and I try to, you know, but I'm glad he grown. Did it scare you? You think you was raising him out of fear because you didn't want him to make the mistakes you did? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. You got me right with that one. All right. Yeah, I was. You know, I don't, I don't want him in penitentiary. I don't want him mm -hmm. fighting for his life, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't want him with ops. Mm -hmm. I don't want all that shit, you know. Unless I help him with life situation. It could be something somebody said to him on Instagram. It could be an op trying to leave that alone. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that that shit gonna turn out bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm mostly even though he grown, I'm mostly on keeping him out, keeping him safe and being a daddy to him. I saw you say that the other day. I, I, I don't know. I don't think it was Vlad. It was something I was watching you on, and you were saying how you don't, you don't want no beef. You don't want. Oh, you was at McDonald's. You was leaving McDonald's time. You was like, you don't want no beef, no issues, no ops. Right. You gotta suck to be a street yes, nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I, now that you get older, you be like, bro, like, how the fuck you forty years old still looking? Gotta look over your shoulder, you mm -hmm. know, from your past. Mm -hmm. That's a fucked up feeling mm -hmm. when you gotta go every. Especially when you go in your city, you gotta look everywhere over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Like that shit wasn't worth it. Mm -hmm. The respect you got for anything you did ain't worth you being a, a, a older man looking over your motherfucking shoulder. That's right. right. Not knowing if he got kids, he got kids. It's this shit. This that shit ain't worth it, bro. Absolutely. You know that make you get money and get the fuck away. That's right. That's right. You know that's why motherfuckers get money and never. <clears throat> Come back. And mm -hmm. shit. That's right. Could you tell Envy that? Because he's been beefing a lot the past couple I of years. I saw it. I have Could you tell him to stop? Everybody. I'm dying laughing. I, mean, <laughs> I saw you in the comments. I, 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 I haven't been beefing with anybody. <laughs> I saw you in the comments talking about you I, dying bro, laughing. I, 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 I swear <laughs> to God, bro. Y'all put tears in my eyes. <laughs> I mean, I just was responding. That's all. I ain't beefing with nobody. I'm a grown ass man with kids, man. But, I, you know, I would ask you, we, you know, we've seen. The the you and uh Ti stuff play out, and then we seen that you guys had a conversation. Yeah, how were y'all able to 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 have that conversation? Because it, it was it was uh first we you know Ti uh now how was that? Uh, y'all both still walking boy, to an airport, you know? and y'all both was, no we had been talking way before that. Oh, okay, we had been oh so y'all had been talking before y'all saw each other. In the yeah, airport. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what was the first conversation after the Vlad interview? He called you. I know T Tip gonna call you straight. No, up. we text for about we we text for about a week straight. Mm -hmm. Back and forth, paragraph. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we know, we know, we know. Ti, Ti was know. using some big words. Bro, he can too. go, bro. Paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Why everything call each other? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got each other's numbers. This is too much to be. Hey, hey, hey. Like we, he's saying his point. I'm saying my point. Mm -hmm. And um, we finally came to a head, bro. And um. Cause I feel he was hurt by what I said. I'm sure y'all partners. Y'all been partners for a long I, time. Y'all working I, on a TV show. You, yeah, you understand. Album. Like y'all right, right. know each other. Know That's each other. why, I, like a man, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Cause he was helping me with a lot of shit. We was bonding. He was helping me with a lot of shit. But as a man and what I stand on, mm -hmm. if he would have did that, that he said he would have did, I stand on business mm -hmm. and I would mm -hmm. break that bond behind that mm -hmm. but I kind of jumped out there too too far mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying but we got by it, bro you know I you know I, I apologize to him you know what I'm saying he we got by it, bro like, y'all still doing the album in the TV show we got the TV show uh cooking up right now you yeah. know what I'm saying I, I guess we're going with the album a little later but we ain't discussed that but we just working on the well, we're working on a TV show right now. And then y'all seen each other in the airport. So that airport was the, the first time y'all seen each other. Yeah. And the conversation yeah. and everything was was good. I love that. Oh man. yeah, we was on we was on we was on a whole nother million dollar conversation right there. We mm -hmm. was 
he was setting something. We were setting up another play right there. But don't you think that's how men should act? Yeah, If there's bro, a problem, like, get you on know, the phone like, and have a conversation. Or y'all text each other and y'all speak. Right, Fans, like, right, we, right. You know, like, grown-ass men. I love that. Grown, bro. We ain't gonna let no social media. And our kids love each other. Them niggas, them, that's the dogs. You know, they, mm-hmm. they, they rock like, you know, every day they rock. Mm-hmm. You know, so as a man, you don't let nothing come between family, bro. It could be solved out. And you know, internet beef ain't real beef. Mm-hmm. Well, ain't niggas ain't shooting at each other. Everybody on the internet talking about they beefing. Ain't nobody shooting at each other. Mm-hmm. This ain't nobody. It's not real beef. Mm-hmm. Nobody's in real beef. Ain't nobody shooting at each other. You, th- you think the internet sometimes makes you say things that you may not want to say? Just because you like, All right, I, I know they're going to be on my head about saying something. So let me say it. No, when I speak, I speak for not just me. I speak for a lot of people in the world. Mm-hmm. And it be on the tip of my tongue. Mm-hmm. And I've been like that since I was... Since forever, if you know Boosie, I, I speak my mind. And now it just became when some stupid ass shit going on. Let me they call Boosie. Boosie. Got to say. I need I need to speak my mind, <laughs> like it's like because hey, this shit wrong. And they be like, Boosie gonna say this shit wrong. So it might be, I mm-hmm. might, it, 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 you might be right, Charlemagne. But I feel now is if I'm quiet, it's gonna be fucked up. Everybody gonna think one way. <laughs> Real shit. If I be quiet, everybody gonna think one way. So my preacher at church told me, Boosie, do not shut up. In the name of Jesus, that's what they want you to do. <laughs> that's what he told me at church. He said, Boosie, do not shut up. That's what the whole world wants you to do. They don't want you to say nothing about the Lord. They don't want none of that. They don't want you to. They don't want my voice. But the the preacher at church. Told me don't shut up. So why you don't talk about God, Boosie? I do talk about yeah. God. Y'all just ain't listening to the God voice. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta listen to the album. I always talk about God. I've been talking about God. You just gotta listen to the album. You got a song on you know, I'm called Blessed and Highly Favored? Yep. Yes, yep. sir. Yes, yep. sir. Yep. That's, so you, one, that's one of my favorites on the album. I feel like I'm blessed and highly favored. I feel like I could have been dead a million times. I feel mm-hmm. like I'm here for a reason. I feel like well, every time somebody try to stop my motion, I get other motion. Mm-hmm. So I'm blessed and highly favored. Like, you know, I done been, man, I done been almost took out probably 12 times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw you say, it was a few couple months ago. I think it was a couple months ago. You said you was cancer free. You found cancer free again. Yep, yep. Every yep. year I got to go uh, get my yearly checkup. Right. And, mm-hmm. But my doctor died, bro, my cancer doctor. So that hurt me, bro. Yeah. I, I wasn't wanted to. Talk to him and tell him what I've been doing. So we see each other every year, and mm-hmm. he passed, bro. So that was kind of hard on him. But I ain't got no damn cancer, so I was I was still happy. Amen. What kind of lifestyle you live? Like, do you eat right? Like, what do you do to you know? I mean, I work out. I I, I don't rest enough. Mm-hmm. That's the most important. That's, that's that's where it come in. I don't rest enough. Mm-hmm. I chase a lot of money. I love that fucking green dollar. Mm-hmm. And the more you stay up, the more you get. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I be having problems with resting, bro. Like, that's why I'm I'm having problems with sleep. Only time I sleep on the plane, bro, you know. So uh that's why I'm that's why I'm 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 having problems at right now, sleeping. Even when you at home, you don't smoke a blunt, go to sleep? I gotta be a daddy then. Yeah, when I yeah, when yeah. I get home, I gotta be a daddy. I gotta go to jumping places, I gotta go to you know, it's, it's a full time job, bro. Mm-hmm. And try to make music at night. Right. Now, one time you came in and, you know, people were upset about some comments you made about the LGBTQ community, right? Right. And right. you said that, you know... I'll say them again. Whatever I said, I'll say it again. We know. No, that's okay. You don't need we, to say we it. Don't okay. have to, we don't have to bring it back up. <laughs> don't do it. But the reason, remind, don't remind me. The reason, <laughs> the reason I said that is... Is because when you said you have gay people on your staff uh-huh. that work with you, people right. thought it was cat. They thought you were lying. No, but we just met it. We met somebody on your team. My that was, assistant. His, your assistant. He, he, he said he'd been gay. with. Yeah, he said he been with, with you for the longest. He been with me. He count millions of dollars for me. Mm-hmm. I just told you you can trust gay people more than anybody. You did say mm-hmm. that. I just told y'all that. Hey, why would I have trouble with gay people? You know what's up? Envy got his number immediately as soon as he walked in. Never met him. He's <laughs> in my line. Jay in my line. <laughs> See. <laughs> But that that was that was took out of that was took out of all my gay stuff was took out of proportion for me speaking <laughs> speaking I sometimes I speak it the wrong way like my mama say I say it the wrong way but the gay people don't hate me the real gay people like that I see in the airports and shit the gay people don't hate me 
They say, Boos, you be speaking some real shit. Mm -hmm. They be saying, happy motherfuckers ain't even us. So I... I don't know, bro, but I, I don't have nothing against the LBGT. <laughs> LGT. I, mean, I, no, I got to say it right. What it LGBTQ. No, no. Q. LGBTQIA, EIOU, and sometimes no, Y. What's the thing? It's <laughs> LGBTQ. LGBTQIA, EIOU. Shut up, man. You're going to get a bro. Oh, man. Y'all going to It's LGBTQ. I have nothing against the LGBTQ. There you go. Final answer. <laughs> I have gay people on my staff. That's right. And I got his number to get your calls for the car show. That's why I got you his number. You ain't got to explain why you got I'm his number, tell, bro. You made it seem like I'm, 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 I'm trying to holler at homie. You make it seem like I'm trying to holler at homie. I didn't, I didn't no, say no, that. No, no, no. I want to be clear. I just told Jay, if he texts you for anything other than business, please let me know. Yo, shut up, man. Yo, stop <laughs> That's it. That's all I said. And then, you know, people were uh, talking about your daughter, and you was like, yep. you accept your daughter fully. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So that wasn't a concern or problem at all either. When you 22... Hey, I feel like I feel like I raised her right. Mm -hmm. You know, I I was gone from some important years, eight to thirteen, and when I came home, I was trying to be a a makeup dad. I wasn't into they her sex life like that. I never even, you know, yeah, really, you don't want to know that when you got daughters. I got four. I daughters. just did That's five like, years uh, in prison. Mm -hmm. Just did. Be death row. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I won't come up and make up, you know what I'm saying? So I missed a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, I missed a lot, but at the same time when it it, pro it probably been there. But the respect that they have for me, mm -hmm. I respect her coming out when she did. Mm -hmm. You're a grown woman, 22, you could you could pop pussy, you could do what you want. You grown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But as a as a dad, I don't support it. Also, I'm a Southern Baptist. I don't. We don't support it. Also, but we don't shun it. We don't shun it. You, you see you, what I'm you, saying? You got a song mm -hmm. called "They Dyking." Yeah, I know, but mm -hmm. that's in your that that that's 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 really just speaking on a on the music. Mm -hmm. You don't want that for your children. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My dick get hard. Okay, I, I will. I like to win, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna bring a woman and a woman in a household to see kids get raised by that mm -hmm. do, do you, traditional household i get what you're saying do you um whitney houston mom i don't give a fuck what's going on <laughs> we ain't finna name man shit i'm cc man you got <laughs> no i'm telling you real shit i'm just i'm telling you real shit uh, well they say whitney was doing it too though allegedly allegedly yeah if you watch the movies in the mm -hmm. documentary and cc and was fighting <laughs> <laughs> Does it make you approach your music differently though? Because you do have an influence on people. You know what uh, I'm saying? So if you, you nah, might... my music, my music, my music right now is motivation, bro. It's, yeah. it's a lot of motivation. Is what's going on in the world. Um, you got a song called Mental Health. Mental Health, which I love. Yeah, uh, you know? man. I man, it, it's more, it's more growner. Right, right, right. It's more growner than it, mm -hmm. than it was. Have you been go you you go to therapy and stuff, Boosie? Like, yeah, I see a psychiatrist. Dope. All right, when did you start going? Uh like two years ago. Oh, that's dope. What have you yeah. learned about yourself? Uh that I've seen too much. A lot of trauma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had I ain't know I had a lot of trauma until, you know, you first go in and you write on the paper all the people who have died and mm -hmm. you be like, God damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, and it, uh, me seeing them, it, 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 it make me more grateful. Mm -hmm. Make me more grateful with life when I leave, when I leave them, it just helps me out, you know? What mm -hmm. made you go? Uh, really kind of being paranoid and shit. Really kind of being, you know, having a- Anxiety? Not really anxiety, bro, but Thinking about my friends. I stress a lot about my dead friends and my dead homies. Also oh, grief, grief, grief. Grief, really. Yeah, grief. Mm -hmm. Grief. You know, and uh I grieve a lot over my dead homies on why all, a lot of people around me leave and I still I'm still here. So uh The survival the survivors remorse. Yes, man, you mm -hmm. know, and, and he said I really needed it. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't I ain't I just tried it, you know. And, 
And I smiled when I left, like, you know, mm -hmm. like, this man could help me be a calmer person. Because a, mm -hmm. a, a, it's all kind of shit that help you, bro, just all breathing. Right. <clears throat> Drinking water, bro. Water bring oxygen to your brain, bro. Mm -hmm. Makes you have better dreams and everything, bro. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you have a lot on your shit, your head. You have crazy dreams. Like, when you more peaceful, you sleep better at night. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you think therapy has brought you more peace? Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. right. Now, I also see that you, uh, you're building a community on your land. Is that, is that to, to bring you more peace or you, all your family's there? Uh, I don't really know what I'm really doing with it yet. They just put <laughs> that on there, you know. I, I just when I make money, I, I like to flip it. You know, I don't keep money to spend it. I like to make more money for me later on. Mm -hmm. You say you don't so, keep, you mean, keep money to save it. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <clears throat> if your money's in front of you, you gonna spend it, bro. Like, Absolutely. Especially this show money and all this shit. And I just do it different. I might have a good weekend and buy four apartments on my land. Build them. Who stays in those apartments? Family members or nobody yet? They're getting built. Who you gonna put in there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're not gonna put no random people in on your. Nah, nah. I might, I might, I might, I might let family get in them. I might let two. They gonna rent one. Mm -hmm. uh, so you gonna make it some rent rent from you? Yeah, I don't play. I don't play with this choke. Even though, even though, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just Sonny still got to pay rent. You gotta yes. teach him responsibility. Yes, you gotta teach him responsibility. Yeah. Cause if I don't, he gonna go rent from somebody else, right? That's right. That's true. Your landlord ain't going to let you smoke weed like this. Mm -hmm. So you might as well come over here. Your water and your life's free. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it back all kind of ways. Mm -hmm. I just, I like my land. I can do what I want. I don't stay around nobody. Mm -hmm. I ain't fucking with nobody. The sheriff, they love me in the town. Mm -hmm. I got a good situation, man. Mm -hmm. I just built, it's called Las Vegas, Georgia. Las Vegas, Georgia? Yeah. I got I got uh, showgirls gonna uh, gonna be walking around the pool all summer. <laughs> I got three mermaids that gonna lay there for the uh, every time we got a party. I got three bad bitches mermaids. Mm -hmm. Got mermaid suits. All they do is lay by the pool. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, real about shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. real about do, shit. Dude, do you ever feel like you got to keep anything from your dad? Cause he, he's you know he's so honest about everything. But is there anything you feel like I can't tell my dad this? Sometimes. Sometimes, cause I don't know what he'll say. Really? Yeah. I would think he. I mean, I would think he'd be open about everything. You know what I mean? I don't, you know he ain't judging you. You know he love yeah, you. Yeah, but some. But sometimes I don't know what he'll say. Sometimes I might not like the response. I know he's gonna say back to me. What's the last thing that you didn't want to bring to him, but you did? And he had a bad response. Mm, I don't really know for real. Mm -hmm. A baby. Oh yeah, that one. You were scared to tell him you had a baby. Yeah, I told my mama first. Mm -hmm. How they made you feel, Boosie? Because you had kids young, so. I just told you I ain't want to do shit I ain't did. <laughs> I was pissed the fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was pissed off. Mm -hmm. I was, damn, I was I was pissed off. Oh, that's when you didn't know if the, if the, if you didn't know the yeah, baby was his. Oh, I remember yeah, now, I remember yeah, now, I remember, yeah, now, yeah, I remember yeah. now. And he was 0% the fuck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I am not a grandfather. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, am yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay out my DM, all y'all, I am not a grandpa. Word, 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 word. I am not the fuck. I got a couple more years, I think. You was nervous then, I am then, not dude? a grandpa. Huh? You was nervous then? Yeah, I was kind of nervous. Damn. I was kind of nervous. But was you relieved when you found out it wasn't? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, Boosie, do you get tired of, you know, I guess maybe not, because you do all these interviews and you know people are going to ask you questions that's going to go clicking, right? Yeah. You, you know that. Do you get tired of that or do you or do you enjoy it? Uh, nah, I don't get it's, it's, it's like a job right now because I get paid a hefty penny to do interviews. Mm -hmm. Podcast. You see me on them podcasts? They paying. <laughs> do you give 10% to the church? Because the pastor told you to speak. So you give 10% to the church? Oh, I give to the church all the time. Okay. I just went to church last Sunday. I give to the church all the time. I'm a, I'm I'm like, people don't know how much I am. I'm I'm, I'm a godly person. Mm -hmm. My grandpa was a preacher. Mm -hmm. My other grandpa was a deacon. Mm -hmm. Like we was raised in a church. I'm born in a crack era. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody born in the crack era. You had to, you had to go to church, especially down south. I know yeah. down south, you had to fucking go to church. Church was like school. So you know we. We Southern Baptists, bro. Mm -hmm. We stand on a lot of principles. We try to, you know, 
we don't like the world as much as other people and, and, and what's going on you're not your a biggest principle, person. I was gonna say your biggest principle is, is, is snitching you don't like the snitching you don't like the, the talking you don't like that you don't like none of that online that, that really bothers you uh yeah it bothers me because I didn't lost years of my life because of people snitch. You know, if my uncles didn't lose my my cousins, if, if I probably wouldn't feel this way if all this shit didn't happen to me in my life, I wouldn't probably give a fuck about rap because I wouldn't understand it. But I do, you know. And it took my uncle away, took my cousins away, took me away, took my friends away. How can I have any remorse for that? That's been the common denominator of my failures. Of my family failures, trusting people who turn into be rats. Mm. So you know, like you know, I was on death row because the nigga ratted on me. Mm -hmm. so, you know, like my boys lost they because people tell it, and um, that's 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 detrimental to my family, bro. Like, and and, and that's what make me react the way I act. I could be acting way worse than I act if you knew what I really went through with. You know, the closest people that told on me, man, you know, like, so, uh... So you understand what Thug is going, going, going yeah, through? Yeah, I feel for Thug, bro. I feel for Thug, bro, like, I've been in Thug a position, bro, you know, uh, hoping somebody love you like you love them, you know, and, um, that's when I all go wrong, <clears throat> you know, all, all them dudes broke, and, uh, all they had to do is stay silent, you know, uh, when they come grab a click, they gonna grab a lot of people, bro, and see if you fold, bro. And uh, they folded on them, bro. Mm -hmm. And and, and now, now you really, get, they got your hands in, in their life. Because even though you going in there saying, I ain't do none of this, you got four, five motherfuckers, mm -hmm. six, seven motherfuckers saying, this is a, a criminal activity. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan say, I ain't done shit. Scotty Pippen went right in that motherfucker and say, yes, ma'am, this is a criminal game. Who is a judge? Uh, you got A juror's got to weigh that out. They don't really look at the facts. They look at the homeboys, and that's what convict everybody to witnesses. Mm -hmm. They statements. When you pull up Thugger and Gunner, Thugger, who going to pull up first? Gunner. Mm -hmm. Not the Lil Woody, not the all them, all them other. They're not going to pull up first. So they think, even though Thugger probably never ran with Gunner in the streets tough like this or, or connected, they gonna think y'all are the closest of anything. Y'all word is stronger than anybody. So you 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 threw him under the bus, bro. Like, you know, they ain't have to do that. Thugger a good dude, bro. Like, man, I seen Thugger. Thug, Thugger gave my partner 2500 to clean the pool table off. To clean the pool table off? Bro, he <clears throat> shot a video at my at, 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 at my house. They waste his his people waste whipped cream on the table, bro, on the pool table. Dude gave my dude twenty five hundred. Man, that, bro, that nigga cleaned that table. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that nigga, that nigga, nigga cleaned that table so <laughs> fast. Got that bro, dude got gave that dude twenty five hundred dollars <laughs> out his pocket. I'm like, dude, bro, like you know. I feel like they just they they they, they trying to throw him under the bus, bro. And Have you spoke to him? Nah, I ain't spoke to him. I speak to Lou all the time. I spoke to Lou a couple of days ago, and uh, Lucha Lucha fighting too, bro. You mm -hmm. know. Is there anything Thug could say about Gunner to make people look at it different? Like, oh, he ain't he didn't snitch on me. I don't. If he Thug would probably could come home and tell somebody else that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He couldn't tell me that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He couldn't tell. He can tell everybody else that. Like I don't. I stick to the code, bro. Like that's mm -hmm. with anything, bro. Like, you know, I talked to Rallo. Like Rallo was my my partner, bro. Like, had a good respect for that dude, mm -hmm. bro. Like, he be home soon though. From what I heard from the, from what I read. Shit, I don't know. Look like he talking. You know what I'm saying? So, I was looking at that shit, bro. I'm like, oh no, I thought they they said that wasn't. They said that wasn't true. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just from the situation, like I. Like I told him, bro, I fuck with you, but I can't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you spoke to him and told him that? Yeah, I texted him. Damn. DM'd him. And what would he say? Uh, he said, I'm looking at it the wrong way and, you know, shit like that. Because that hurt me with Rallo because, you know, I fuck with dude, bro. I told him, man, I don't know who you think you talking to, bro. But I, 
feel like I done lost another partner. What is, what is what is snitching nowadays though? Because now you got these dudes, they be, you know, recording themselves doing criminal activity and posting it on social media, and you know somebody might be on the phone with you and record it and post it. Like what? Is, I don't even know what it is nowadays. If you snitch on yourself, it's. I mean, when you sending other people to jail, that's when it, you know, you got to blame yourself for yourself. Mm -hmm. When you sending other people to prison for shit. It's wrong, bro. Everybody going to prison, God wants you in prison. Cause he's just making you stronger for other shit. That's why all the rats, they get out and something happened to them. Nigga get, nigga ride down the street, interstate, a brick fall. Pow! <laughs> Bitch, you dead. That's all, I'm telling you, you just ran it. You just fucked up everybody's life and you think you gonna be safe. That's why shit happened like that, bro. Them dudes, I don't respect that, bro. Cause the children suffer. Nobody on Instagram or social media never say nothing about that man's children. They never say nothing about the children. When you go to prison, your children suffer. Mm -hmm. When daddy gone, shit change. Everything fucking change, bro. A rat destroys a family. You just looking at the criminal. You're not looking at the fucking baby mama who gonna be slaying pussy. Pussy gonna be all stretched out. <laughs> trying to find another baller. She ain't got time for the churn. The churn all over the place. A rat destroys a whole family. That's what people need to understand. How could you vouch for somebody who's tearing a fucking family apart? I, I agree with that, but then there's people that would say, well, criminals tear families apart too. Like, what if the person has done these things that they getting arrested for and getting convicted for? What if they really did the, the, the dirt? It's up for God for you to catch you, not for the police. <laughs> if God let your ass get away, you got away. <laughs> you jumped the gate first. <laughs> God <laughs> got your ass away. It's up for them. Uh, it ain't for you to turn them in. It's for your ass to, <laughs> it was your turn to get away. You know sometime oh, when you did man. crime, somebody got away. Yeah, right. In the hood, you was just that lucky motherfucker. <laughs> Don't bring him down. Go on, got his ass away. He jumped the gate. You <laughs> fell. You fell over the acorn, nigga. You been stingy your whole life. Oh, Your man. ass fell over the acorn. The person who got it was meant for him to get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who are he you? He gonna get caught yeah. later, nigga. Yeah. That's how the streets go. He gonna get caught later. Or now listen, Boozy, when it comes to your son, right? You know, your son is a public figure now. And I see people say things about your son. So, so one dude said he... He said he's he's the one who got your son arrested. How do you feel about stuff like that? Uh, who got my son arrested? Then he said uh, Charleston White went on oh, the record. Oh, um, I don't know, man. I'm, I don't fuck with Charleston White. That nigga, they're pressure. <laughs> I ain't fucking with y'all. I'm keeping that nigga name out my mouth. That day, mm -hmm. that's a threat to my my success. Yeah, right? yeah. Charleston White, mm -hmm. he ain't hiding. Charleston White gonna get your head locked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, shit, I've been ducking that smoke with Charles. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only smoke I ever heard Boosie say he ducking. <laughs> that, that's some smoke you don't want, oh, man. Hey, 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 man. I ain't trying to have no man calling no DAs yeah. on and all this on me. That's that's real shit. Yeah. It's real fake shit. Well, people, but it, people gotta realize, right, if you look at our community, I don't understand why people make threats online. Why they they record calls? Why they put it in their raps? Why they do the things that they do? Cause it's it's all documented. You going to jail? You going to jail? It makes no sense anymore. You going to jail, bro? Like you going to jail? Like you get on there and you say, "When I see you, I'm man." That is a threat. That he's gonna call the people and talk proper. <laughs> your real name, your birth date, everything. You <laughs> everything. Hey, so. <laughs> Like, you know, I had to tell him, King, shut the hell up. Leave him alone. I don't want that smoke. If Charles the White looking now, I don't want the smoke. <laughs> if you watching this right now, I don't want you got smoke. I don't want you, I don't want the smoke. I'm tucking my tail, bro. I don't want the smoke, bro. I don't want no beef with you. I don't want you to we straight. We straight. Now, now, yeah. Do you have do you have any reservations about putting Tootie in the spotlight though? Because of situations like that? Oh nah, he in the spotlight. It's, yeah. it's up to him to handle it. Nah, I he really gotta I I could I, I, I tell him shit, but he still gotta learn from his mistakes, bro. Mm -hmm. Like he grown, like, you know, like I ain't, I can't take him out of the spotlight. 
Like he was born in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. So uh, he got to deal with that as a, as a, as a man. Now you were mad at a McDonald's employee because they didn't give you no jelly. You know what them fucking people be doing? They did it to you too. <laughs> <laughs> fucking size of business, they give you one jelly. You gotta pay an extra quarter for the other ones, I think. I'm not doing it, bro. Like that. <laughs> that pissed me off that day because I'm a, I'm a, I've been well, I've been seeing McDonald's since I opened my eyes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like I've been going to McDonald's. Forever, bro. When that cheeseburger, that double cheeseburger meal, the two of them, two ninety nine, two ninety nine, hey, tax. bro, three dollars twenty four cent with tax, yeah. <laughs> so, I get in my feelings with certain shit, not just, and it happened in the airport before that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, can I, um, I can I get a, a couple more jellies? She said, you got one biscuit. I like my shit sloppy, you know. I don't, you know, I like my shit hanging off when you squeeze that bit. So. I feel like they're they're not being paid extra to not give you jelly. <laughs> if you was getting paid an extra fucking fee by me coming to this man, throw two more fuck the fucking jelly thing this big. Mm -hmm. You can't throw three, four more jelly. You love your fucking job too much. You're gonna be working there a long time, bitch. <laughs> yeah, and bitch love they job like that. You gonna be there a minute, bitch. Boozy, do you ever talk to your therapist about possible <laughs> ang anger issues? Maybe. Just, like, <laughs> oh yeah, I got anger issues. I got anger issues. They, he, he said I have anger issues. Mm -hmm. He said I have anger issues. Did you know where it stems from? Because you, I also saw you say you cursed out a whole store because they asked for your ID. Oh, uh, it stems from my childhood. Okay, most most trauma does. Yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. the, it, it stems from my childhood. My dad and my mama fighting, but I don't fight women like that. Mm -hmm. I don't beat women ass. Probably because my daddy used to hit my mama. Mm -hmm. But um, I have anger problems. Like sometimes I got I have temper tantrums. He ain't give you no like no 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 exercises to do before you take it there. Like like when you like say the McDonald's jelly situation. Like nothing to breathe. Up, like you take a breath before you react. I was already having a bad day. I lost my safe deposit key. Oh okay okay okay. So okay. I went across the street to McDonald's and they ain't give me no jelly. So you was projecting on them. So it really wasn't about the jelly. Yeah, it was about the jelly, but I already <laughs> had a little fire in me. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Okay. I had a little fire in me. Okay. But I've been on that jelly, bro. They, they acting, they acting crazy with that jelly. <laughs> you know that shit. You, you know that shit. Y'all be like, damn, when y'all look in the bag, two ketchup. <laughs> y'all got big ass on your ring. Yeah, yeah, hell nah. I saw you street racing too. You was doing one fifty. Oh, you yeah, ain't, you ain't, did I, you see it? Yeah, I was in that nine eleven doing my. Hello, boy. Little yeah, boy, I live, you can't kill me, little boy. My, my nephew, he just got a uh, challenger. Oh, that was yeah, your family yeah. member you was racing? Oh, yeah. Oh, he was, Boosie was talking to him like crazy. Yeah, that was my family member. Yeah, he pulled on side, just got his shit three days ago. He pulled on side, man. Talked him. <laughs> Dogged him. You, that, you done came too far to, to go out in a car wreck like that, man. 150 miles I just told you I'm here for a reason. When it's my time to die, my ass out of here. God ain't trying to take me nowhere. I don't, I don't, like, I ain't going nowhere, bro. I'm gonna be here to talk some shit for a minute. <laughs> so y'all can get used to it, motherfucker. You heard me? I ain't going nowhere. I done beat cancer, death row. Oh, man. Nigga done shot at me 36 times. You still can't hit me. I only been hit one time. That's God, bro. I've been scraped two times, hit one time out of nine times. I'm here for a reason, bro. Do you think, have you found out what that reason is, that purpose? Cause it got to be bigger than the rap or even the. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I just, I just, I just, I just follow where where God lead me to. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm becoming a a, a better daddy, a better mm -hmm. a better businessman. Everything everything I'm doing, I'm getting better at. I'm in competition with myself, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I can see you being a pastor. I got I got, I'm in competition with myself. I can see you being a pastor or a deacon in the future. I ain't even joking. Shit, I don't want to be like George Farmer. George Foreman. George Foreman went to a pastor. He had shit. He got broke. I thought George Foreman got rich. I ain't see the movie. You no, you ain't see the movie. Nah, I ain't see the movie. Nah, movie. Nah. Yeah, George Foreman had to put that Bible down. It wasn't paying the bill. <laughs> yeah, George Foreman had to put that Bible down. <laughs> but Foreman don't talk like you, though. Like, you have a natural mm -hmm. way of communicating. My with grandfather people, people was a preacher, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you listen to my songs, I got a lot of God shit in them. It, mm -hmm. it, just, it just get overshadowed by other shit. You got a song called Diddy and Carisha. What's that about? 
Uh, it's about uh. That's the song you were trying to get Diddy on a long time ago. Yeah. Did yeah. you ever get Diddy on it? Nah. Damn. Nah. Nah. Did you reach out to him? He didn't hit you back? Yeah, I reached out to him, bro. He, what did he, he say? I see he back working now. I don't know, man. Did it be hard to catch sometimes? I get my feelings if I can't catch a nigga. You don't answer your phone three times. You know, but I understand. I'm the same way. I'm a businessman. People, but I just, that's me. If I call you and you see Boosie, nigga, please answer. Because mm -hmm. I will FaceTime your ass. <laughs> I will wait till you get in the bed with your, with your wife and FaceTime you at 3.30 in the morning. Because you know you own. Yes, if you don't answer my call, ask anybody. I do it to all all of celebrities. QCP, ask anybody. Snoop Dogg. Who picks up the most? Uh, Snoop will pick up for me. Snoop just picked up for me. We was laughing this morning. Mm -hmm. We was dying laughing this morning. I was looking at the Martha Stewart uh thing. Mm -hmm. I told Stewart, I am fucking. I was like, Snoop, what up, man? Tell Martha Stewart I won't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> man, Snoop bust out laughing, bro. I had the magazine. Oh, you talking oh, about yeah, Sports, Sports Illustrated? Sports Illustrated. Man, I saw Martha Stewart on Sports Illustrated, bro. I, I, did, I didn't see it. Come on, bro. You like that? I, I ain't. Time out. They luck ain't Time no out. no more. That's what you jacked off to this morning? No, no, no. <laughs> I ain't yeah, crazy. You I said you jacked off this morning. I ain't jacked off this morning. You said you jacked off this morning. I went in my phone. 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 That's the headlines right there. Boosie jacked off to Martha Stewart's Sports Illustrated cover. No, but I call Snoop. I say, Snoop, man, what's wrong with Martha, man? I knew I was going to make him laugh. I just called Snoop out the blue, and I like to make He make me laugh. I make him laugh. So I saw Martha Stewart. She look old Martha, boy. <laughs> yeah, but I, I ain't attracted to no Martha. If I was on ecstasy, <laughs> when I was on ecstasy, that's how I made all them children. If I was on ecstasy, I'm going to tell you this. If I was on ecstasy, Martha Stewart. <laughs> she had to get it. What's the oldest you done touched, Boosie? Um, I was, I was, I was, I was 18. I had a 51 year old. Okay. She was a crackhead though. What? Yeah. It was a transaction. And I started to like the crackhead, me and my boy. What? But she was, you know, the crackheads that don't be really, yeah. you know, the yeah, kept yeah, up yeah, crackhead yeah, 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 yeah. who got children. Absolutely. But they crackheads. Mm -hmm. So that was like me and my, me and my boy, we used to down there. You know what I'm saying? Get mad when one sneak off with her. She was a crackhead though. So y'all shared her? Yeah. But you liked her more? I, he probably liked her more, but I liked it <laughs> her too. I, I I liked it her. So because, I, I mean, it was, she was grown. I mean, she would, she would tear all that ass up, bro. Like, you know. So how'd y'all in a relationship? Uh, We both got to sneak and go and see her without each other. Mm -hmm. Crackhead was cheating on you? <laughs> no, man. Damn, you know, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know, he broke the code. No, he going over there without you. No, man. no, no, no. <laughs> hey, bro, like, me and my partner, like, the, like the crackhead was fire, bro. Like, mm -hmm. she was, she was a well kept crackhead, and you know, and I mean, she's still around now. Oh, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I was. Tootie, have you heard this story? <laughs> Is this a new one? Mm -mm. Oh, you heard <laughs> this one? <laughs> Do you get embarrassed by some of your father's stories? Like, do you get some time to be like, I heard your dad did this. Do you get embarrassed at all? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> now, when it comes to the Boosie fade, the classic Boosie fade, was that your choice to get it? Or he made you get it? Yeah, I did both, but shit. I done uh, don't look right with the other haircut. So yeah. It's just I'm going me. through that right now with my with my younger son. He don't want it? He want dreads. Nah, he want, he want something else. And, I, and, I, and basically... We at odds right now, like, you know, like, I ain't breaking, bro, you know. You what do you bro. want? A month, that nigga motherfucker look like, that nigga head look like, I don't know what the fuck that is. The mullet? And I'm pissed. The mullet kind of thing you talking about? The the side with the little, uh, the side cut right here, mm -hmm. but it got a little <laughs> thing right here, some shit right here. Uh -huh. You got me fucked up. That's man. like the Odell Man, Beckham. It, oh, like they doing Dallas? What you talking about? No, that's the shag. No, that's the, the shag. Okay, that's, okay. You talking about the oh, like the Odell Beckham? Like you take yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going for it, bro. Like you know, like you know, like oh, so he take the brush and do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. the dye and all. Yeah, all right, got yeah. you. So we got a choice to make this summer. <laughs> What's the <laughs> choice? We have a choice in two days. What's that choice? You either cut it or you stay home for the summer. Damn. 
Are you serious about that booth? Yeah, that booth my time, bro. I, I, when you go back to school, when you <clears> go back out of town, you 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 do what you want. But this is this is my time. When you get eighteen, you do what the fuck you want. But when you come for the summer, my two months, mm-hmm. have enough respect for me to come like you as you are. Mm. That's all. Show your daddy that respect for what I didn't put into into this fucking family. You is my twin, bro. I cried, envy. When I saw his hair, I cried, bro. I cried, bro. Like, bro, it hurt me so bad, bro. It hurt me, bro. Like, you know, and but you want your son to be an individual, be his own <laughs> self, right? Well, y'all done made this fade famous for the family. <laughs> for the family. Bro, okay. Damn. So he can never come in with dreads then. When he when he grown, you make eighteen, you do what you want. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to talk to his mom and and make her understand. You know, like we just gotta help me parent this situation. Mm. Cause if daddy say something and, and and mama saying something else, it all goes. Just say yeah with daddy. Mm-hmm. Just you know agree with me sometime. You know so that's where I'm at with that. And I love my son. You know what I'm saying. But when he coming there looking like somebody else's son, I get pissed. Mm-hmm. Bam. Bam. You know that it, it pisses me off. Mm-hmm. And I love. I, I created him. You know. I. You know. And you're a child right now. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm telling his mother. He's a child right now who's in his daddy care for the summer. Mm-hmm. Now, if when he goes back to school and he wants, okay. But when you ha- have that respect for your dad, make me proud. Just like I make you proud, make me proud. Show me the respect I need. Because even if I take him and, and, and break on what I'm saying and let him come, I'm going to have an anger in me. Mm. I'm going to have a ill will towards my child. And I don't want that. Cause I'm gonna stand on business in my household. That's with anything. But you know he's gonna rebel against you because that is your son. You a natural rebel. Oh he oh he <clears throat> he well he's a rebel. Oh my my little boy MJ, he bad as fuck. Mm-hmm. He get the most whoopings out everybody in the family right now. Mm-hmm. For the summer. And he don't even try to. He like me. He just he just fuck up on mistake, bro. He just fuck up. It's always him, bro. Like, it's always him, bro. And Does he want to come this summer? Or he be like, I ain't going to dad's house this summer. Or he ain't got a choice. I don't know. We at a standstill right now. I think his mama going to push his ass out there, though. Hmm. And um, she trying to fight for him right now. And, you know, he a mama's boy, you know. His first five years, he, he was born when I was in prison. Mm-hmm. So his first five years, I wouldn't know. How old is he? He, uh... 12 or 13 right now. Mm-hmm. But his first five years, I wasn't there. That make you a mama's boy. Mm-hmm. My other sons, he daddy's boy. Mm-hmm. They was with me though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was, you know how that mama, I'm a mama's boy. Mm-hmm. You know how it is with mm-hmm. the mama's mm-hmm. boy. They they siding with they baby. Mm-hmm. They baby like they, they husband. Mm-hmm. They siding with that baby. So that's what it is. We I guess I guess we're going to figure it out. If he got a girl, if not, that, if not he he gonna come. I'm gonna catch he, him sleep and cut his head off. Jesus, if he Christ. got a little girl that like that haircut, he ain't cutting it. I think not that's what it is, not bro. Cause, Cause he he coming into that stage, bro. He like mm-hmm. thirteen and he coming into that stage, and I'm proud of him. You know, I'm proud of him because he got swag, bro. He, bro, he love. We love girls already. He love mm-hmm. women. He like his daddy. Love him. I grabbed his phone and checked his scroll. Mm-hmm. That nigga had five porn things on that bitch out of eight. Damn. I was so happy. <laughs> I fussed at him. I, fu- I said, what the fuck you got all this shit on your phone for? But I, when I went in that other room, I was happy. <laughs> that little nigga watching pussy like a mother. Yeah. Yeah, and he watching, but he, he got number white girl. Boozy, you ain't I say he like white girl. I got him at the private school. Well, I'm going to be honest, but it don't sound like you got ladies like you used to have them, bro. Uh, nah, I've been, I don't, you know, I don't. I don't really talk my love like you know that you know that because I feel like my my life and who I'm fucking and shit I be feeling like it's for them to know it's for me to know got you, got and you, for got them you. to find out yeah yeah because I don't see how a relationship can last in the media I don't see how they mm-hmm. do that I don't see why people put their relationships in the media because how can you like every time you step out with a bitch bro it's just crazy bro like 
Nigga might send you a picture of with a dick in her mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus Christ. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just to fuck with you. Just to fuck yeah, with yeah. you. He you happy? Know? Oh, he happy. Let you, me... Yo, you happy? Let me send you a picture of this bitch in the car with me two years ago. Right. You heard me? Kissing in her ear. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you keep shit, people out your shit, that shit turn into power, bro. Because mm -hmm. everybody want to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep that. I, I, I kind of keep, I keep my... My my shit under wraps. I, even if I step out with you, mm -hmm. I'm not finna go and explain who you are, yeah. how I met you, mm -hmm. or what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Because that's with any woman. You know, I I didn't bang celebrities, all kind of bitches, but I would never put them out there because I always want to go back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If don't nobody know, no nigga can hate on me. Nobody can hate on me. I can mm -hmm. always go back. And you letting whoever you're dealing with now know I'm not cheating because I jacked off this morning. You announced it on the radio in New York. Yeah, I did. I, mm -hmm. did. I did. In New York. Then <laughs> walked out and smoked a blunt looking at looking at all them fucking buildings. I hope nobody ain't got me in the back of it with my drawers on. <laughs> I have my drawers on on the back of it. I saw you uh, def uh, defending Vlad too. Why people think Vlad defends, man? Man, I don't know, bro. Like, man, people I, go up I, there I, and you they can't share. turn me against. Uh, this how I always been. You can't turn me against nobody ain't ain't, ain't hurt me. Mm -hmm. And only show me only show me love. Mm -hmm. Boosie never went to jail for talking on Vlad. Mm -hmm. Boosie, if your ass went to jail, I'm telling you, you the stupid motherfucker. Said too much, yeah. If you going up there to, to speak criminal and talk, bro, you is you the stupid motherfucker. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop blaming these people who asking questions. Mm -hmm. That's their job. They be going into detail. Mm -hmm. And this and this and this and this. Bro, we gotta stop blaming that shit. That shit don't be right, bro. Like, you know, uh, I just don't be feel, feeling like that's right. They put on the people who asking the questions, bro. Them dudes be delivering all that, that information. Mm -hmm. It come from from their from their own mouth. Mm -hmm. And I see IG left you alone. Yeah, man. I'm I, I mean, I mean, after they took my 13 million, but Mark Zuckerberg, uh, he really showed me. He showed me, he showed my ass. He showed you who got the power? Who got the power, yeah. he, he showed my ass. I saw you at fan base the other You see, day. I've been quiet as fuck. I've been, yeah. like, I've been quiet, bro, because, you know, he's starting to take the press off me a little. You know, first they was blocking ads, blocking, and bro, these motherfuckers got power, bro. Everybody got friends, it's just like us. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, and they was, they, was, they was pinning down on me heavy, stopping a lot of my most, trying to stop a lot of my most. So the more I've been quiet, the better shit been going, you know. But see, that's what I was talking, because I did Vlad the other day, and Vlad was like, man, Boosie said that you be picking sides. And I'm like, man, I don't be picking sides. I just don't want to see brothers get, have shit like that happen. You know what I mean? Because I know how them powers that be play when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah. And they powerful, bro. <laughs> yeah. them motherfuckers more, more than people know. People, yeah, more I, than people know, yeah, I ain't bro. Even people about with no entertainment. billions of dollars. Yes, absolutely. People with billions of dollars are way more powerful than people with millions of dollars. It's a they make phone calls. But I just I'm just happy I got a, I got like a cult following, bro. Like mm -hmm. anything I put out, I get a pretty good, you know, response to keep me floating. And I do it all myself, bro. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, the independent hustle harder. I would say, but on the back end, it make you smile. You know, mm -hmm. so you, are, do you do you did have a reality show coming, right? Nah, I ain't had no reality show. Coming. Oh, I thought somebody you had. A, you, nah, you I was doing show. something at first, but it ain't it ain't it ain't do it. You know, a lot of people been trying to get me on reality TV. They know I'm gonna sell that motherfucker out, but they don't respect me as a businessman, um, Charlemagne. Mm -hmm. You know, these people might offer somebody else more money for me than talking to me offering me more money. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't respect me as a businessman, uh, but they feel it and they know what I would do to reality TV. They just don't want to pay me, bro. What show approached you? Damn near everybody, really. Love and Hip Hop, all I love? mean, not no Love and Hip Hop, oh, okay. Zeus Network, all kind of work networks pitching shit to me, but they don't want to pay me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they look at me and, no, you got to pay me like, you got to pay me real, real big time for me to stop 
shooting movies, shooting, doing all the shit I got going. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take time for me. Mm -hmm. If you pay me, Charlemagne. You know, you I would go on that fucking thing and <laughs> must shit see on a toilet. Must see TV. I would do it, bro. I, bro, you put me, you pay me enough fucking money and put me on reality TV. You watch what the fuck I do. You gonna have to egg some of this shit out, <laughs> well, bro. Like, but they don't, they don't respect me as a as business a business man, right. as, as as a mogul, bro. To pay me like other people will get paid. Oh, you know what, what happened in uh, San Diego? Uh, I can't really talk about it, but. You know, I had got arrested. Uh, but I won't give a shout out to San Diego police, bro. I was I was having a sugar attack when I got arrested, bro. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. bro, bad one, bro. Because I was leaving the video shoot, I was, because my sugar was dropping. Mm -hmm. You had your insulin? So, no, I had my insulin, okay. but I can't take insulin once it's dropping. I got to eat or get some got sugar. Got you, got you, got you. So on the way there, we got pulled over and, Man, my shit was dropping so bad, bro. I almost died, bro. Mm. No. Yeah, man, they had a, a white San Diego police. I told him, man, because I'm telling them I'm fucked up, and they had a white San Diego police. He said, man, I was a paramedic. He, he finna, I told him go in my sack in the car and get my my sugar shit to squeeze in my mouth because mm -hmm. he was a paramedic before. And dude saved me, bro. Ran to my sack, skirted the shit in my mouth. Pause. God damn, Boosie. He talking about his life, man. Know, you talking about God Paul, damn. man. He talking about saving his <laughs> life. What's wrong with you, with you man? You talking about somebody saving <laughs> no, his life, man. God damn. Lord have mercy. You talking about somebody no, saving his life. That's what he think about. No, Power squirting my mouth. I like the first one. Go. We know what he meant. was crazy. Come on, What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you, bro? He broke the top off the 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 insulin glucose. There you go. He broke the top off the insulin glucose and squirted it in my mouth. He squirted another one in my shit. Come on, Boosie. <laughs> he, he took. He got another. Uh, <laughs> he got another glucose, and he brought me back up, bro. That's when dope. the paramedics came, he came back up to one thirty four. And man, I, I was, I was out there. So you know, I don't really want to talk about the situation, but I made it to another day. Bro. Absolutely. Well, the album is out right now. What yes, you want to play off the album? Uh, it don't matter, man. You don't, you don't fast for a boost. Pick a song. We gotta play one. We gonna play one song, Boosie. I mean, Diddy and Carisha, Mental Health, or Sun's Redemption. Well, Black is beautiful. Black uh, and beautiful. Black, Black and play Black and beautiful. Yeah, that's my favorite off there. All right, Black All right, and beautiful. We'll get to that now. We appreciate both of y'all for joining us. Boosie and Tootie Boosie Rob. Boosie and Tootie got an album coming out too called The Chosen One. Yep. When's that coming? Out? Uh, July first. Oh, right. July first. So come right around the corner. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. It's the Breakfast Club, Tootie Raw, and Boosie. Yeah. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.